This is the top 8 airline startups in 2022. Without further ado, let's get started. Pushing back at number 8 is Hans Airways. The airline is very similar to another British startup, Fly Pop, but what makes the airline stand out is that it's planning to be a full-service one, offering, quote, price with value, meaning that it will offer good legroom, complimentary meals, and IFE screens at every seat. Wanting to operate a fleet of A330 200s on secondary routes to and from the UK and India, the future of this airline looks very promising. The airline is looking to receive its Air Operator Certificate this year. Starting up at number 7 is Aurajet. Formerly known as Fly Kana, Aurajet is planning to be the Dominican Republic's new national airline, albeit low cost. The airline has recently received approval from the main aviation authority in the Dominican Republic, the JAC, for 30 routes to and from countries such as the United States, Panama, Aruba, Canada, Colombia, and more. An Aerotime Hub paragraph about the airline states that the airline has, quote, plans to start operations in January 2022 with a fleet of Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft, but this obviously isn't the case. Taxing to the runway at number 6 is Bonza. Bonza is planning to be a domestic-only Australian airline to challenge the likes of Qantas Link, Rex, and Virgin Australia. Despite the fact that the airline hasn't placed an order for any aircraft yet, the Boeing 737 MAX 8 will most likely be Bonza's workhorse of choice, as hinted to on its website. As of January 2022, Bonza's route network is still unknown. Holding short at number 5 is Akasa Airlines. Despite this Indian airline already having ordered 72 Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft at the 2021 Dubai Air Show, not much is known about the airline's route network, except for the fact that the airline will have a hub in Bangalore, India. It is still unknown what the goal of the airline is or when it will commence operations. Lining up at number 4 is Greater Bay Airlines. Calling itself a, quote, vibrant, reliable, and passionate carrier, this Hong Kong-based airline has a bright future, with it already having received its first of seven Boeing 737-800 aircraft, along with its air operator's certificate. The airline plans to start flying passengers early next year from its Hong Kong hub to three Southeast Asian destinations, those being Singapore, Bangkok, and Phuket. However, the airline has applied to operate over 100 routes. By 2026, the airline plans to have a fleet of 30 or more Boeing 737-800s. Taking off at number 3 is Airborne. Pledging, quote, safety, comfort, and convenience, this airline is planning to compete directly with Californian low-cost carrier Avello Air. The airline is already hiring staff via social media and its website to operate its first aircraft, that being a 12-year-old Airbus A320. Airbon plans to commence operations on the 1st of March 2022, flying its first route from Ontario to Oakland, California. Climbing to cruise at number 2 is Northern Pacific Airways. Wanting to induce, quote, the next era in air travel, this low-cost airline is dreaming big. The Alaska-based airline plans to connect cities in New York, California, Florida, Texas, and Nevada to cities in Japan and South Korea via its Anchorage hub. The airline will utilize a fleet of Boeing 757-200 aircraft, with the airline already having purchased six. While it's not known when exactly the airline will commence operations, it most likely will later in 2022 or in early 2023. Reaching crews at number one is North Atlantic Airways. Based in Norway, the goal of North Atlantic is to fill the gap in the transatlantic low-cost market that Norwegian left behind when it stopped flying long-haul. The airline intends to operate a fleet of 12 Boeing 787-9s and three 787-8s for a total of 15 aircraft. The airline will operate point-to-point -point transatlantic routes with focus cities in Oslo, London, and Paris. Despite its low-cost nature, the airline will still offer IFE screens on board. With its first 787 already having been delivered and its air operator certificate secured, the airline plans to start operations in spring 2022. 
that being said let's just conclude this video if you guys like the video please like subscribe and turn the notification bell to make sure you don't miss one of my videos and with that that is the end of the video as always goodbye